Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started. And I apologize, we're running a few minutes late, but uh, we'll get started. If we'll start with our pledge, and Commissioner Davis will do our prayer. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dear Lord, we come to you tonight thanking you for all the many blessings you have given us. We ask that you watch over this commission tonight. Let us make the decisions that will help benefit our community and help further our cause. We ask that you guide and direct us in our actions and our deeds. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh, wait a minute. To welcome everybody out tonight. Uh, first item of business is approval of minutes. Make a motion to approve the minutes. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. <coughs> motion passes. Next is the bills. I'll make a motion we accept the bills. Pay the bills, I'm sorry. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. 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 Opposed, same. Motion passes. Old business, approve the second reading of the 1819 budget amendment. And that's just one we do the housekeeping last month to start this process to finish out the year. Make a motion that we approve the second reading. Second. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. New business, first items approve the first reading of the 1920 budget. Oh, well, we'll just put it down to the bottom then. First reading of the cable franchise ordinance. We only had one. Yeah, we do. <laughs> hmm? Oh, yeah, I said we only had one. Now we have more. One bid. It's back to charter communications here. Mm -hmm. hmm. I got a letter, something about that. Yeah, they change all the time. Locally, no They don't get the contract to find them back to me. They're going to be out of work anyway. They're going to tear down power. They're going to be in good shape then, ain't they? Because they're kind of Mary, do you know if Amy or Larry, is Amy coming? To, have we ever had any trouble getting the, the payment? No, no, no. Oh, no. So, most all the provisions, if I can, most all the provisions comport with the statute and the term uh, is a 10 year term with a 5 year uh, optional extension um, it does have that language in there that requires um, they be put on notice well in advance of the 10 year period if you don't want to extend it for another 5 years but the uh, Constitution statutes, they can, can you can have a franchise for up to 20 years, so they're well within that. I assume, because I didn't know, I assume that the uh, payment is what was the franchise fee was what was previously. What they were previously paying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the same. That's on page seven.
There's never been any problems or anything else there. So we just need a motion to approve the first reading mm-hmm. for the cable franchise. No, I'll make that motion. That's what I was thinking. Did you make a motion? Yes. Second. Could we have a motion and a second? Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify by time. Aye. Opposed, same. That motion passes. The next is the first reading of the golf cart ordinance amendment. So we have to adopt this even though it's going to be a statewide regulation? Well, our ordinances can't be in conflict with state law. Man. And we have to have an ordinance. I don't know if the state law, does state law make it mandatory uh, or allowed everywhere or do we, st- we still have to do it? Uh, city still independently still have to do an ordinance, I think, to allow it. Dedic- designated roadways within yeah. the jurisdiction. Yeah. Do any golf carts come with um, seat belts? No. Then they don't come. Most, most of them don't come with brake lights and a turn signal and you know stop stop lights and tail lamps and all that. They don't all come with that. And also, I noticed down here they have to have a windshield, and I didn't know that was a requirement. Was that a requirement before? I can't say because I think what our ordinance did was allow to follow whatever the state required at that time. And then the VIN number or vehicle identification number, did they always have to have that too? Because most golf carts, they always had to have mm-hmm. that. But they didn't have to have the windshield, did they? And the brake lights and the reflectors on each side plus the back. The reflectors has been on there. And but it's got to be on both sides now in the back, according to that. How about the exterior mirror mounted on the driver's side so they can see the behind them? But it, but it didn't. It wasn't. It didn't specify. It was just a rear view mirror. Yeah. Well, it says here it has to be on the driver's side of the vehicle and either an exterior mirror mounted on the passenger side of the vehicle or an interior mirror as well. That's what it, it could be either one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. One or the other, but it has to. In other words, it has to have the one on the left side and one in the middle, or one on the right side. The one on the left has to be there. It has to have the driver's right. side. Yeah. And it has to have driver's side, and then it has to have one of the other two. That's also. Good. Also has to have a park and brake, a seat belt, has to have seat belts, a windshield, and a horn that has to be heard. So this is the new one you're reading? State, state, state passes. Yeah, state passes. Yeah. yeah. Where's the windshield? A golf cart with a seat belt. I've never been in a golf cart that had brake lights and tail lights and all that. I mean, I was, yeah, it, that's not you, but to, 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 to. The, the realities are, I think the, one of the reasons for this is because there have actually been some really bad injuries right, yeah. associated mm-hmm. with golf, golf cart usage most of the time off of the golf course. Yeah. Actually, it's r- yeah. rare to have a significant injury on the golf course. No, but 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 one, one pops to mind down in Central City not very long ago um, in which there were really serious injuries and it, uh, it does happen. And Mike, it also has to have front and rear turn signals on both front and rear. <clears throat> There's not a golf cart in the city that does that. I, I, I've never seen, really, I've never seen a golf cart in a seat belt. Have you all? Do what? Seen a golf cart with a seat belt. I, I, just the side of sides and never a golf cart. Are the side-by-sides allowed to go on the highway too? I mean, on the side of the streets? Under our ordinance, mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. They don't have turn signals, huh? I didn't know what was in there. We have to. We, we don't yeah, have we have no choice. I mean, it's we can't be in conflict with the, the state law. I'll make a motion to the the state of Kentucky for the golf cart. Yeah, what, what is the designated highway for golf carts? City streets. Um, City they, streets. They can't cross 231. And they can't, they They're can't, not supposed can't cross to. to. Cross 62 either. They can't. They, they're not allowed to operate on state or federal highways. I think what the statute says, they can cross the main road, but it has to be a two-lane highway. It can't be yeah, a four-lane. Like, yeah. Goshen Road doesn't affect, 62 wouldn't Goshen affect, Main, 231. Goshen Road right here at Mid, right. Town, you know, but that's it. Yeah, they, they can cross Goshen? They can yes. cross Goshen Road right. because it's a two-lane road. They can cross Main Street here where it's two-lane here. 
but if it's a three or four lane, they're, they're not supposed to. Yeah. Like you can't station. go from Twin Hills over across the street to go get a burger. And they can only cross them. They cannot operate on them. Yeah, yeah it's, it's straight across. It's, yeah. it's supposed to be a designated area, too. You're supposed to, I think, have a sign up or something, kind of like a crosswalk. What a mess. Well, I mean, we don't have no choice. We've got to do it. Keep looking at second. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. We've got a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. I don't know. This is going to be pretty tough. You're not going to have anybody licensed with it. So. Oh, the Amblin thing? No, the golf cart. Oh, court. I know. Well, there's not a golf cart in the city that might be, be able to drive on. That's a good thing, Amblin. They're not even supposed to be on the sidewalks, even if they're. I don't know. It's crazy. Okay. Just walk. Mm -hmm. yeah. walk. <laughs> I was going to buy a golf cart. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> we really like that. Don't farm tractors don't have to have that stuff. <laughs> I mean, you drive farm tractor down Main Street, you usually drive well, a golf cart. I'll give you a farm tractor instead of a There you go. Cart. Get your tractor. Yeah. Put Tracy. Get one of those little side seats for Tracy. <laughs> Next item is the personnel handbook changes. I've had a few of those. <coughs> This is probably going to take a little time to get done. Um, and then at the end of it, I'm working with um, a resolution to approve it as a whole once all the corrections are made. There's a few <coughs> things that I put in here that I don't feel it's my place to make those changes without you all making that decision. So the first page, the introductory period. I just wanted to throw that in there because I know Larry. We always say tonight, the probationary. We, as you can see written on there, it says they recommend to remove that because of the fact that we also have that employment at will statement in there. And that's what they want. So there's no more 90-day introductory period. So. so you're not allowed to do a, like a 90-day probationary period? Well, I think well, we're allowed to just do your like, recommendation. We don't have to. Well, well, they don't want it in it. It's contradictory. Yes. We're an at will state, but yet you're saying you got 90 days probation, which technically, if a, am I right, AV, that 90 days, we probably couldn't or could be an issue because we say we're at will, but yet right here we're putting a, a time frame on it. Gotcha. I don't know. Have you, did you send that to AV? No, I didn't. I got one, don't you? Yeah, I got one. I got even the copies of what we're discussing yeah. tonight. We're talking about that thing very first time with this. And this is more or less tonight for your all's information because it's going to take some time, like I say, to do a lot of this stuff. And what I did on some of them may not want to do. Allowance. I don't know if I put that in there, but I put a little segment in there that they could not use that until after 90, day, 90 days of work. And however, I phrase that in order to kind of keep that. Which, which was that? Under like clothing allowance. I don't think okay. I included that. We have Tonight, that I kind of threw that in that phrase. But according to the law, that's supposed to. But the second page no, the no, vacation. not the law. I mean, the, the 90 day. Yeah. They're saying that our, we have okay. two things that's in conflict with each other in our handbook. Yeah, yeah, in, in our handbook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 If we have mm -hmm. manual and I've learned that we have way too much in there, we are way outdated with it. And what she sent back with all the corrections. I wonder why they allow that within the first year. Is that customary these days? What's that? To have your vacation time? Yeah, well, not right now. You don't get vacation until after you've been here. Yes, yeah, 12 months out. But it says recommended allowing in first year. Mm -hmm. And see, again, this is something I can't make that decision to change it. Why would you give to them before the first year? Though? Well, that's what I was asking. That's what they're recommending, right? Within their first year, I mean, do you do a six months? Or, I mean, I don't know. Because and that's the reason I was asking. Is that customary? Who made the recommendations? Who made the recommendations? KLC. That's who I thought, thought it was. I thought that was the worst room. I've not worked in a public sector like that. To where so I don't, I don't know what's customary. What What do you got? What is customary? Ours after six months, but it's prorated. You may after being there six months, depending on what time of war you're at, you may have. Five days, you may have six days, or you may have seven days. Because ours is once you've been there 
two full calendar years, you have two weeks, and then we add a year for a day until you max out at 15 days of paid vacation, and we have the week shutdown, so you get 20 days of vacation, actually. I wonder why it is that they recommend that. That you allow within the first year. Maybe for bereavement or something? Because I know no, where I work. Really that's that's we a do separate, get bereavement. Yeah. See, we don't get where that's I work, we didn't get bereavement. Straight by. vacation. Where I work, the closest thing to a vacation you got is when they laid you over. <laughs> <laughs> I had it. I mean, not that it matters me one way or the other, but they're talking about something that the one week seems usually low. I mean, that's not their call. Mm -mm. Yeah, all these are just recommendations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Seems like we usually see two weeks at least through the fifth mm -hmm. week. Mm -hmm. That's what we mm -hmm. got, mm -hmm. don't we? Not until after two years. But to me, that seems very fair. But like I said, I'm out to date, out date on what. And we got an improvement on that. The next page on the drug screening has me totally confused. I am I'm confused. I've been reading it. I can't understand it. Totally confused on that. And if you notice the very next page that's stapled to it, I even had to Google the definition of the safety sensitive employee. Because I had no idea. That one got me. Mayor, when has this got to be responded to? It's probably going to be a few months it, it, ago. There is no deadline on it. Yeah. I don't, how come you <coughs> did they send you something? The, oh, the insurance guy. Our safety guy. Our safety guy. Trying to get our scorecard. Yeah. Hard on getting our scorecard. So we get figured this out on your insurance. And this, and this was our recommendation. To have, yeah, to have them look at, to update. Yes. To update our. Why does it say you cannot randomly test everyone? What is, what is, I don't understand that. Why? Well, down here at the bottom, do you see that little arrow? It says protected that, by I guess that's her. I guess that was her answer to that. Is, is everything written on here and highlighted their recommendation? Yes. So what they're saying is that you can only direct test people that are what they call safety sensitive. That's what it says. Like I said, I had to Google the definition of that because I was just, and it's. Like They're all safety sensitive. We just can't do it without them. I must be super sensitive because I got dropped by last night. <laughs> <laughs> He's used all his winds up on the drug test lottery. And then we have to remove the alcohol because alcohol is not a drug. But wouldn't all our all our people be safety safety sensitive because they all drive vehicles? They all they all work off equipment. I mean. Well, Mary and Amy and Elisa wouldn't be. Because the likelihood of them falling out of the chairs probably not. <laughs> well, that's, I, my we guess worked, is, we worked, we worked I may be wrong, Amy, but I'm thinking if safety sensitive, they're going to be talking to someone like uh, law enforcement or fire, not... What about the guy riding, riding the... What's the guy on the, the trash truck is drunk and he wrecks, no, wrecks trash truck? That's not state. That's that, a, federal, a federal mandate there. But, but that's not a... Picking up garbage, I'm thinking they're going to say it's not a safety sensitive position. They're, they're not talking. They're not. They're not talking about falling off. They're talking about is the job they're doing something that reflects the safety sensitive to the Public citizens. Safety. Public safety. That's the way I read it. Well, the driver it. would be. I don't know about well, any operator. Well, no. Yeah, they're CDLs, but they still wouldn't be considered safety sensitive position because they're just they're driving a truck. But it's not about the safety of it's. How am I playing it? Police is a safety. They're there for the safety of the citizens. Fire is there for the safety of the citizens. We might could get by with street people taking care of the streets and stuff as safety sensitive, but I don't know that you could even so water and sewer. picking up the trash. It's, it's kind of safety. It's not a safety. Yeah, but it's not a safety. What about, your water? What about my water operator? That's safety sensitive. I mean, because... The water might could be because they've got to have their certifications to... I, I don't understand why any part of the job, if you're out on a job, that it's not considered. I, I think they should be able to take maybe in the any office. job you have. I think well, be able to drug test. We were, I what, like I've been on a job where they, they test just the whole test shift test. Test. right down to the... some blood when we get down here. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm talking 200 men. Mary, it's the way that you gather is it's more towards... 
to step back public like safety than the employees. That <coughs> Only drugs like alcohol, alcohol or if someone's yeah. drunk I'm sitting in a chair, yeah. they're not going to harm someone. <laughs> I they were well, I mean, we had a girl that was, that was taking drugs, and she the got disability to go. She was taking drugs. Well, yeah. The goal of your insurance people will be zero to accident. Well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, they are going to be zero to accident. Well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, they are going to be zero to accident. Well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, they are going to be zero to accident. Well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, they are going to be zero to accident. Well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, they are going to be zero to accident. Well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, they are going to be zero a recognition. Now, this doesn't say recognition. And the suggestion is that this ability is so opposed to a drug. I don't understand. Did you see that comment? Yeah, that's right. Not only drugs and alcoholism can be treated as disability. Alcohol use treated as disability. It's mm -hmm. an interesting. There's somewhere else, and I know it's. I mean, everybody goes in front of the judge over there. It's got DUI. Alcohol. I can say I'm on disabled. Yeah. 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 Try that one. Yeah, that's not gonna work. But I don't remember what section that was. I had to remove the alcohol from that section because she made the comment alcohol is legal. That's interesting because there's prescription pills. They're legal, but I guess if you consume mm -hmm. them illegally. So this isn't anything that we have to do tonight. Oh, no, no, this, in fact, I want so A.B. to look at it before we, we do actually that. could table this. And it's, going to, it, it's going to have to be because we can't do anything with it tonight other than... I'd make a motion we table this. For you all to defer the recommendation. Have you some nice reading material over the next <laughs> month? Well, I'm like, A.B., hey, this is ridiculous. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> I say this is A.B.'s baby, let him run. <laughs> well, he's having a hard time over your deer bubble. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like he said, if, if, if it's considered, a, if alcoholism is considered a disability, if you get a DUI and go in front of the judge and say, oh, I'm, I'm disabled, I'm like an alcohol, I drink alcohol, I have a di alcohol, alcoholism in my family or whatever, are, you, are they going to let you off? No, they're going to still give you the <laughs> DUI. Yeah, Give them a day or two. Mike, if it's a, if it's it a happen. city of Huawei and they're <laughs> under the influence, you have to treat it as, as a disability. Hey, I know a judge. We'll rent the part of the We'll get them some hands and help them. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. We've had some strange things tonight. I hope it don't get any worse. <laughs> it might. Some weird stuff going on here. Um, we'll start. Next item is visual comments. I always ask you. Well, I have something that I'm trying to look on my phone what you all are talking about because I don't get it either. <laughs> Good luck. You want to read one of these? I don't have anything. Chris? Police? Uh, just a little information on our uh, burglaries in the vehicles. Uh, Easter morning, we're coming to the close on that. Uh, Tommy's put in a lot of hard work on it, a lot of hours. Cody, he's a case officer. Tommy's getting to do the legwork, and uh, Cody's getting to do all the time. So, but we interviewed uh, a juvenile this afternoon uh, that was involved. Uh, Tommy and Cody went to Owensboro to interview. A 19-year-old that was involved, so uh, he'll be presented at Greenbury. We'll go to CDW with the juvenile, uh, two charges there. But we we got some of the stolen stuff back. Uh, another another gentleman's been charged already. So uh, he had some of his property. I think he brought bought some guns off the that were stolen. We haven't recovered them and that's that's the loose end that we're trying to hide right now is it, to get those two guns back. But we've got everybody that was involved, so we know who who they are and charge it to be coming against the other two pretty quick. And everything else is all right. Okay. Thank you. Bonnie? No. I need to, if you're still here or not, I need to talk to you in a day or two about your neighbor. No, yeah, not next door, but the one skipping him. We're, we're trying to get, well, I didn't know the guy died. Oh. The, the property owner? Yeah. 
Because we've been working on that one, but now they're trying to figure out just who technically is the one in charge of it involved and, and who owns it or who has custody of it. So <clears throat> but it's it's in the process trying to get something done if we can find that out. So we got this table, didn't we? Mm -hmm. did, did. I got lots of translation. Okay. James, you have anything? No, no, right off the bat. Sandy? Mm -mm. Kevin? I'd like to make an apology. We had an irate customer at the <laughs> oh. thing Saturday night. And I'm not, I'm, I'm not condoning what he did. I thought our police did a great job. Uh, he did get a little irate. I, I think a little bit everybody was a little irate with the rain, but I do apologize to our policemen for what happened. And I know it wasn't anybody's fault. And I like the guy, too, too. I mean... I couldn't believe it happened. He came and talked to me about it today, Tommy. If you, if you want to know about it, he did. He come and talked to me about it. He was fine. He was fine. He was just aggravated. You know, I think everybody was a little bit because of the rain. But I, he, he's not upset anymore. He's okay. So I feel better. I feel oh, better. I, one lady. I want to apologize to the police that had to deal with it. Other night. I took a ripping from one lady. She said, well, you should have just asked them to wait and do it Sunday night. I'm sure they would have. I'm like... Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. And their location they were supposed to form Sunday night. I guess just put that up to Monday. Anyway. That's all. Okay. I got two questions I'd like to ask AV if we can do. One of them I thought we were ahead. Um, right away. It's primarily the little green strip between the sidewalk and the street. Can we require the property owner to, to keep that mowed? Now, wait a minute. The right of way you're defining. Like on Main Street. You're defining as what? Well, he's talking about the green the, space between the sidewalk and the road. The answer to foot. I understand. But but who owns it? State. The state. The state owns it? You can't require the property owner to, to mow it. If, if, the, the, if, if the property owner. In other words, it's, it would be possible. That the city, the city's got a right of way for the sidewalk, but there is an area between the sidewalk and the street that the property owner still owns. And in that situation, the property owner had to maintain it. But I don't think if I understand the answer, the state owns it. Yeah, on 231 Main Street. Yeah. I never knew people didn't mow that little strip on Main Street until this year. Yeah. Normal people always did. But yeah. Some of them seem to quit doing that. I don't know why they. I mean, if you're going to maintain your property, it makes sense to mow it. I too. just don't get it. And it's a it's a minor. But they thing. don't. I know which one you're talking about too. I <laughs> There's several of them places. this year. I just I've never well, noticed I it too, before. Did last year didn't mow it. I don't think at all last year. But yeah, and I understand. And I can you make the state mow it? Are they required well, no, to mow it? That would be us because we get was it municipal yeah, you know, municipal you know, aid. Right. To take care of state stuff within the city limits. So now we not only have to mow the cemeteries and the park, now we got to mow the right of ways now too. Are the inmates not allowed to do it anymore? Rips having a hard time getting some trustworthy people to put out on. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take care of that. <laughs> I can't believe that you'd have trouble getting people. <laughs> Oh, my next question is something I've seen it. It's been on Facebook, and I've, I've got a kind of a personal connection to this because of something that happened. But can we require people when they're mowing their yard not to mow the grass out on the street, Don't city streets? I thought that was a state law. It's not a state law. I verified that with KLC. Uh, I think. Oh yeah, I think you could do that. Now I, we, we, I, I would assume we don't have anything in place. I thought we did, but I we did. I thought we had it. We did have one. I was trying to say if I had Mary, I thought I called and asked you, and you told me you couldn't before. find it. No, the grass one we did, because I emailed it to you, because yeah. you asked for it as well. Well, well my neighbor, he amended the original. We have, well, we have an ordinance. Yeah. A nuisance one. This is a sample one I got from another state. But we amended that grass ordinance where it gives you a certain height to also include. Grass is not to be blown onto public 
right away from the street now where it's written. I don't know if I still have it or not. Well, I don't when that was. The answer, the answer is, is easily on that one, yes. yes because what I... not, not just because you have an ordinance, but, but that grass, especially if it gets up to any size, is going to... <laughs> It can cause all kinds of drainage problems. It's not just drainage, it's dangerous. I mean, motorcycle well, wreck on we had a heartbeat. We've had a connection with a motorcycle that somebody got pretty seriously hurt. My neighbor mows his grass, and then he takes and blows it over onto my side of the street. It was in 2016 that we did that ordinance. Instead of blowing it back in his yard, he blows it over on my side of the street. Well, well, he's well, well it back in my yard. I'm thinking about bailing mine and just dumping it in his yard. You know, oh, technically, technically the, the property owner would be liable. Where would it list? Yeah, the that's penalties? they're going to go after the property owner. Yeah, on this one. The property owner would be liable in that situation. Whatever, whatever. We, we, we probably need to enforce that too. Really. Absolutely, because I mean, it's a simple thing. Just turn your board the other way. I, mean, I know. Well, I think some people do it just. Because they think it's if we didn't have an ordinance, we surely could on. have one. But if we got one, we ought to enforce we it. We do have one, yeah. And and if somebody gets hurt because of that grass, the property owner is responsible for it. And, and well, bro, I think it probably fourth number get that guy from blowing his grass over my property, yard. Uh, insurance. insurance. Oh no, we got a city ordinance. <sighs> okay. Entertain much to go into. Oh, Larry, do you get anything? Mary? No. <laughs> Make a motion. Make a motion. Make a motion. Make a motion. Make a Do we need to bring these, Larry? Yeah, we can go back to session. Make a motion that we go back into open session. Hey, he's not here. Where's he go? He's back here. <laughs> oh. oh, he's back here. Make sure you don't do anything. Let's see. Huh? Anybody go sick? I'm out. I'll go second. I'll say it. Whatever. <laughs> I was just going to put somebody down. See, they don't do this. They don't do this. <laughs> Take a name on them. Okay, we're back in uh, open session. We did go in closed session to discuss some issues on financing on the and the personnel issue. So we are back in the open session to take care of, first of item, the first reading of the 2019-2020 budget. Make a motion that we approve the first reading of the 2019-2020 budgets. But we have to make some amendments on it first, don't we? I mean, later no. on. No. Not on the first reading. I meant the, between the first and the Yeah, reading. yeah, we have to finish everything out for the next reading. But. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. And the next item is, uh, as you all recall, we've been talking about the fire chief position for the last uh, several months. We did uh, have two applicants. We did interviews. Uh, we did make a selection on who we felt we would like to hire, and the discussion was made, an offer made, and he did accept. So I need to go ahead and accept a motion tonight to make that effective. When do you want? June fifteenth. You have one. Yeah, that's the. I mean, there's, there's no. I mean, there's. What's the fifteen? Wait, to work with you so they'll know budgets and stuff before it starts. Oh, their budgets going to be very big. <laughs> I made a motion that we hire the fire chief. And do you guys want it? You guys are the ones that's got to hash that out. I mean, the, the money's going to be there July 1. I'll second it at June fifteenth. Okay. I'll make if a it, motion if, June fifteenth. But that's dependent upon your motion. I'll make a motion that we hire him June fifteenth, which there is a Can I ask how much the difference would be on the pay? I mean the, the money we'd have to have for that fifteen days? It's, it's not gonna be a great amount, but a dollar's a dollar. <sighs> I know. With the numbers that we have right now. I do feel like it would be really crucial for him to be. Actually, it needs to be June 16th. Well, it would be that, mo yeah. uh, that Monday. Uh, 17th. Well, let me ask this question because I'm not used to this either. Do you, do you hold back a certain part of the pay period? I mean, what you don't get paid the first day you get hired. No. It's second, it's second week. Yeah, second week. You don't hold back two weeks. We, we, we get paid every week. 
Okay. Well, I, I, that, mean, that's, I, I would just yeah. No, I, a lot of places. Most places are, are either t every two weeks or twice a month on payment. Yeah. Because I've never had to deal with that. I mean, we we they pay the same. They probably be seventeen. It's all going way different on construction. I'm just kind of. I know it would be very much estimating here. Later, I knew it wouldn't be, but still. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Anything else? Yes. Uh, water and sewer license, they acquire the license we know. Oh. I'd ask that we raise that from 50 cents to a dollar per license. So make, uh, that, make that motion. Well, that, that puts us more in line with, with what the county does. Everybody else. Okay. You yeah, made the motion. Made motion. I'll second it. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. And I have one more thing. Uh, I asked the commission if we can move some uh, alcohol money, alcohol tax money, wastewater money, and economic assistance money from Limestone Bank to First United Bank. Uh, interest rates are a whole lot more. We will gain um, roughly $3,000 um, per account in a year's time. I'll make that motion. I'll second that one. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Do you have anything else? Larry, I do have one question. Okay. With him, starting him on June the 15th, because I know the second reading of the 1819 budget amendment was tonight. Is that going to cause a budget amendment? I, I don't know without... Without looking. And actually, that number I gave you would be half of that. It's only two weeks. Because the second week won't get paid until after June 1st. What did you say? I said that number I gave him a while ago would be half of that, actually, because the second paycheck he gets would be in July. Yeah. It'd actually be on the 17th rather than the 15th on it. Yeah, it's yeah. because of the. That, but that was my fault, huh? So and you hold one week back. Right? Yeah, his so your your first really paycheck there. would be the twenty eighth. Yeah, so it'd be closer to eight hundred, seven eight hundred. So he starts on the seventeenth. He'll get his first paycheck on the twenty eighth. Correct. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't have to do a budget adjustment for that. Probably wrong. Okay. Well, not that like. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just wanted to check since we're doing all this budget. Well, stuff. Anything else? Entertain a motion, Mitchell? So moved. Second. 